and I've got a very special DIY video today on how to make your own popsicle. It's pretty easy. So this is um, my friend from Sidward DIY. Hi. Sidward, she's one of my friends. She likes to play the clarinet. So you'll get your favorite pop. Favorite pop, favorite juice, favorite whatever. You can't water. Liquid. Favorite. You can get ice cubes and they freeze those because they're not really that cold. So you can get your favorite. I'm advertising for Coke today. So, just pour it in. And remember, it gets bigger when it comes out. I'm going to put it like at about there at the line. So, we're going to put it in the freezer. Go put it in the freezer. Okay. And we'll be right back and with our frozen popsicle. <coughs> okay. okay. And okay. we're back. And we have our little frozen thing, so as I was right, yes, it did. We actually made a couple of them, so I'm going to go with this one. This is the one that I got. You try that one, I'll try this one. You did. Mm. Here's our other ones. It has like that deep freeze taste. Warm up with your yeah, hands. Look what? Here's a, like a trick. You just warm up with your hands so you can squizzle it out. And if you really want to, they have like the popsicle... Sticks, but Wait, I can never get them to stand up. So you well, can no, use, I mean like you can use your stupid tape like the popsicle molds or whatever. Yeah, the molds you can buy at the store whatever, for really cheap. I we just one, use pudding cup things. One time, um, I I made water ones and I put cheeses in them. It tastes like cheese it water. So that was like my biggest mistake in life. But it kind of tasted good. But my grandpa did not like it. He didn't like it. So. I guess you can try this if you like the taste of deep freeze and coke. So, I know some people who like to freeze their pop and then drink it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can use these as little ice cubes so you don't lose flavor. Yeah. I would recommend doing this as like an ice cube or something. Yeah, uh, you can pour them in ice cube molds and then yeah, stick them in your coke and then your coke up. And then, like, your coke doesn't get the watery taste. You should warm it up with your hands and then get it out because the bottom doesn't have the deep freeze taste. So, next we're going to do Bean Boozled on um, one of our next videos. I'm still going to have her here, so. Yep. Um, Signing off. Goodbye. Goodbye. You don't do the salute. It's my turn. <laughs>